I've been running around with a check on me. Remember when my friends never checked on me? All my haters wanna put the hex on me. That could never stop who I'm about to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, check on me. Hey, I know you wish you would have checked on me. Now I'm running around with a check on me. Got a check on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a check. I got a reason to flex. Know I'm up next. Planning on being the best. Sick of my mini me's. They know I'm a dog every beat. Eat it like pedigree. These rappers scared of me. I block my ex. I'm tired of dealing with pests. I'm getting money. I gotta blow me a check. They hating on me. I gotta give me a vest. I'm getting Franklin's. They gotta give me respect. Ah! Episode 6. Jelly Radio. It's lit. Hey, y'all was going word for word too with the check on me, yeah. On all platforms right now, if you never heard of that song, it's called Check On Me by Jay Lee. Intro. Let, let's run the intro. Three. Now two, tune into the greatest. <laughs> still gonna pop, still gonna drop, still be hot. Still be hot. Love me or love me not. Still gonna drop, still gonna drop, still be hot. Still be hot. Doesn't out Pluto. Love me or love me not. Still gonna pop my shit. Yeah, pop my shit, yeah, pop my shit, yeah. Love me, love me not. Still gon' pop my shit, yeah, pop my shit, yeah, pop my shit, yeah. Got the locks out. You're rocking with the best. And you look. There we go. I'm so happy to see y'all again. No, really. I'm really happy to see y'all again. Back again. Like, you really love JD Radio at this point. You love JD Radio like I love JD Radio. What are we gonna do when this season ends? It's gonna end. 10 episodes, the season is over, y'all. So we got what? This episode six, we got what? FOMO? Yeah, and then guess where we going? Season two, JD Radio. Stop playing. We coming back with it. But the season is gonna be over. I'm gonna take a little break and do some other things that it has also been on my plate. Everything is still in the works, baby. Episode six, though, it's lit. Our wow moment. Let's go. Diddy. The road to the bag is definitely tied to your team and the company that you keep. If you are surrounding yourself with different energies that's not on the same wavelength as you, if they not praying for you, inspiring you, supporting you, or showing you a better way, hello, remove them immediately. Absolutely. I mean, you know, knowing your core values, it really helps you redirect from people that don't align with them. We're all like very curious beings. So we want to be around people who are different. That's why they say opposites attract. But you can't be around somebody that's so different that they're not in alignment with your goals, your values, and who you are as a person and where you're going. So, you know, you just got to make that choice to choose purpose over pleasure. You might want to hang with that person. You might want to be around that crowd, but the purpose got to be more important than the pleasure. Let's move on to something to talk about. You know that they're watching. Let's give them something to talk about. You know that they're watching. Let's give them something to talk about. Something to talk about. Let's come on. Something to talk about. You know that they're watching. Something to, talk about. something to talk about and you know we got something to talk about because it's always something going on if y'all just relax i wouldn't be talking so much we're gonna talk about tay diggs and april what y'all think don't be shady don't be shady they happy i really wanted to bring this up because he wanted to let the world know that there is a god because april april jones loves him Brown Sugar Tay Diggs, Best Man Tay Diggs, the legend. And the April Jones I referred to is Omarion's baby mama, also Lil Fia's ex, um, The Game, Paul Pierce. She named him out. We're going to go through the clip, but that's that April from Love and Hip Hop, that one. As y'all know, Tay Diggs have came out. Not came out. That sounds crazy. <laughs> Tay Diggs started posting on TikTok who he was, his personality. And it is not the brown sugar Tay Diggs. This is a whole nother version. He like goofy and almost kind of corny in a cute way, but you know, he different. He different, he not who you probably thought he was. I'm gonna run some clips of, of April and Tay. 
Having fun. I need you to listen with your ears. <laughs> Not with that ass. Not with that ass. It, it gotta be. It gotta be a good time to rock with somebody that can make you laugh. Before I get into how he feels about April, let me just give y'all a little rundown of April. Twerking on the stove. Damn, April? Okay, that was her and Game. This is her and Dr. Dre. Her and Fizz. This is what she got to say to the haters, though. The game, I f the game, okay? You know what happened to the game? He's right here. He texted me today. Happy Mother's Day. The game texts me all the time. I just love him, and that's Texts me. He loves me. He respects me. Drew, little fizz. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I respect you. Nate Robinson, Paul Pierce, fucking K. Durant, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. Like y'all so mad. Hmm. They mad, sis. They mad because you found somebody that feel like this about you, honey. Let me play Tay Diggs clip. An adult. There are times in life where you can't believe what you were blessed with. One of mine was, you know, the birth of my son. Uh, you know, throughout my career, I feel really, really lucky uh, to have the career I had, like coming from nothing and, and then to be- His son, uh, his career. Um, can you stand up real quick? That this woman is in love with me. <laughs> like, her book. Like, I don't under, I can't. <laughs> there, are, that's how I know. Crazy Lord Jesus, uh, Buddha, or universe, because somehow she's. I love you. She's next. <laughs> so, for all you people out there who don't think there's a God or no higher, no higher being and no higher force, or yo, I, I know they're just. Cause... <laughs> Someone's looking out after me. <laughs> all right, all right. This is not even a how do y'all feel about anything because we is not judging other people's life. Okay, they can do what they want to do. They grown. They having a good time. They laughing. They making me laugh. But what I will say is, no matter how many bodies you got, no matter you know what I'm saying, no matter what, somebody gonna be lucky to have you. This man is a legend, and he know that there is a God because April loves him. We gotta give it up for black love, y'all. We gotta give it up for love. And we just gotta give it up for love and general. Because you can't tell me. Love is blind, too. And kind of dumb, because I've been there. But anywho, shout out to April and Tay. Black love, keep on keeping on. Let's move on to the legend. Can we talk? Remember the challenge? For a minute, I never did mine. Girl, I would. Tevin Campbell came out as gay. Did he really come out or did he just say that, you know, I'm gay? But this is not just about Tevin Campbell. This is about in general how men are gay also or bisexual also. And they feel like they can't come out because of the double standard. I want to play this clip of what Tevin Campbell had to say. I had a talking to my mom and she told me that so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and, -so and Tevin Campbell were gay. Mm -hmm. Help me. And I was like, well, Tevin is, and put the rainbow, rainbow emoji. Flag. I came out to my family and my friends when I was about 19 or 20. That was it for me. But it was just a casual thing to me. I mean, yeah. you know, telling it to a whole bunch of people that I don't know. It, I don't care what people that I don't know or I will never meet or, you know, I love my fans. But what they think about me and my sexuality has no, is of no importance to me. I think that we have a lot of work to do when it comes to that, accepting there's a lot of stereotypes when it comes to LGBTQ plus uh, people. All right, so speaking of that, let's go to Plaza. I'm gonna send him more traumatized more I think about. But I was seeing it all on social media, hashtag P Valley and all this shit. So I kept seeing it. So I asked my father, man, what the is P Valley? <clears throat> so they said, man, this is a show about goddamn strip club. So me being my little strip club, I said, when I get some time, I'm gonna watch that. Let me stop it right there. Who told you it was a show about a strip club? Was it your homeboys? Was it the internet? Who told you? So the other day I'm sitting in my head, I'm just flipping through the channel and boom, here I am. So I see a nigga on stage in the strip club, you know, buff ass nigga. They ain't got no fucking shirt on or nothing. And he performed. I, it's, it's, it's a little murder. Seven pounds of pressure. Crowd. Seven pounds of pressure. Crowd. <laughs> and I 
I see my seven pounds of pressure. <laughs> he in the mother bed <laughs> with 300 mother pounds of pressure. <laughs> he in the mother bed with mother Uncle Clover. <laughs> Plasma, you want to laugh because his voice and his head, but that's not funny. She got them um, Uncle Clover seeing and looking at him like he a little mother T bone steak or something. <laughs> and I think her name motherfucking Mercedes. She see motherfucking Uncle Clifford just staring at her. So she walk over to motherfucking Uncle Clifford and I, Uncle Clifford, that's you, ain't it? <laughs> My thing is, you know, the, the characters and everything. You didn't watch more than one episode, man. You already had a little clap back for him. So let's play that. We, let's talk about it. Since this has happened today in the past 24 hours, this video applies, it's going viral. Yes, I saw Flies, that. Yeah. Flies kind of talking about how he was traumatized from the sh uh, from the show, mm -hmm. and it's interesting because he knew every character's name, knew exactly what they said, and so you wonder: it's like, are people traumatized? Are you are you confused, or are you just scared to kind of accept maybe who you are, or accept those who around you are? You know, mm -hmm. it's like, where does that fear come from? Where does the confusion come from? You know, and so that's kind of, I'm glad that these sex scenes have started that conversation. But um, yeah, talk about your own, worry about your own weight, dog. Worry about your own height. You know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. Like, worry about your own, what you got going on. That was Shay. Was it height or height? I don't know. All right, so now we gonna go on to a rapper named Lil Wop. He was signed by Gucci, I think like four, three or four years ago. He came out as bisexual. Here go his clip. And so. you're saying I'm bisexual. I like females and males. Don't get me wrong. I ain't out here sucking no and in the ass and no like that. But you feel what I'm saying? I'll make a nigga my Mommy, I'm literally filming an episode. Okay, sugar. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, go say hey, J. Lee Radio. Hey, you on episode six. Shout out to my mama. Let her know what's up in the comments. She interrupting the show. Shout out to J. Lee Radio. Hey, okay, I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we gonna run it back. So, women come out all the time like, oh, yeah, I like girls sometimes, and yeah, my man do this, and it's no problem, but him sitting and doing an interview is going viral about him being gay and he getting all kind of or him being bisexual, excuse me, and he getting all kind of hate comments. It's not right. That's why we're going to move on to this interview from Carisha, please. That's my girl. I love her podcast. Her show is amazing. She interviewed Megan Thee Stallion. And the, this portion of the interview that I'm going to play is pretty much just all the gay moments because I want to show y'all how these women are flirting back and forth, saying sexual things to one another and Everybody in the comments is like, oh my God, I love y'all. Y'all make me want to be gay. And the fact that men can't do it, I really feel bad. You know, I feel bad for these guys. Like, in today's guest, we got my girlfriend. Do. The one and only. Dang, by the time she got me up here. <laughs> As you should, you look sexy. You look sexy. Did you wear that for me? I did. I said, damn, she got the titties out. She got the bust down, my favorite hairstyle. You know, my, you know you're my girlfriend. I know. Tell the world, make sure they know. Why are you talking to me in your sexy voice? <laughs> you know who running this show. Because I want to go to dinner after we leave. A weekend. Dinner. <laughs> Trying to draw me in. I am. I know. Is it right? It is. <laughs> I was gonna take you after this anyway. So okay, you like you like girls. <laughs> I mean, I like what I like. <laughs> I like you. You do. I do. You will fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> girls stay. I like you. Girl, you like girls. <laughs> would you say it like that? <laughs> Cause would you fuck me? Yeah, I would. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Carisha is so funny. You know that. With a little bit of orange. A little bit of Carisha juice. They was Ooh. taking it there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if it tastes like Carisha, I want it. Mm. Get, ooh. You know I will. Teach me when I'm on top. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ride it while I spell my name. Ah. <laughs> I know like Megan is so cute when she oh, laughs. Yeah, that's like, so oh, cute. I, I I swear to God, the only type of porn that turned me on is girl on girl porn. Porn. Ooh. That's how I always knew I was gay. <laughs> oh, I was bisexual. Right. Because I like, I love. Girls just, are so sensual. Yeah. I feel like we, 
know how to like please each other. It's straight to the point. You know, but yeah. I feel like girl sex could last like two days. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, when you you tired? No, bitch, is you tired? Like, <laughs> you know, it can just keep going. Yeah, but I do feel like I do feel like um, for me, it must be for me. Um, mm -hmm. It's better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I, I just really enjoy having sex with a girl. Like, it's just, I feel like it's so personal, pleasing. We just have fun. It's so not, intimate. Yeah. You know, I see I see this video and I just be like, I feel so bad sometimes for men because these girls is not messing with y'all if y'all don't have a check. And then they're giving it to girls for free. And they having fun and saying it's better. And like, oh, let's go spend it money and go take each other out on the spa date like it gotta be so hard being a man like this is just crazy i feel for y'all but okay we about to move on to a segment that i love called wake, wake him up and you know i gotta wake you up with some fire this guy right here destin conrad i've been following you since the vine days bro you was always so funny and then i remember on vine too like you could sing but you used to play with it yeah, but you really could get out and now you just going so crazy like just so crazy so proud of you and your writing credits with Kaylani. i'm talking to you like i know you because i'm just i've been a fan that long that's why i'm trying to wake everybody up let's play one of my favorite songs it's called life is changing and it's a video to it i just feel life changing we was rolling up spliffs back to back out your mama truck blazing with no care, young is always been the baby. Then you grew up, put some new ones on the wheel. Life's fucking going crazy. Oh, you stunned like your daddy, baby. You just live for everybody else, don't you? Do it feel like your life changed? This is my first time seeing it. gonna move on to what was my favorite song until day party just dropped in the air in the air like what i don't want to give no ultimatum if you want to come lay up if you want to come stay up if you want to come pay up but you know you got work in the morning been wake up yawning trying to keep up with a real one don't got no obligations at least for today at least you can stay for as long as you care babe as long as you wanna everything's in the air And now Day Party is my favorite song. It's the most recent song I believe that you dropped. And it just goes so crazy. Day Party. With, with Ombre Perkins, you know, we did her a few episodes. This is a vibe, stop playing. Sometimes it's so hard to speak from the heart. She could always get harder, harder I just let it be I just wanna party, wanna smoke a little tree Always keep a dime, only tens on me Yeah, you know me, oh I'm at the day party I meant to call yesterday, shawty Didn't know you pick up when I ring Sitting there thinking the same thing as you Whoa, man. Fire. Fire. Destin, you've been going so hard. Keep going hard, man. You, your voice is so unique. Your melody choices are unique. Like, your writing just... 
everything about what you're doing in this space of R&B, but having your own lane. Keep doing what you're doing. I need y'all right now to go follow Destin Conrad. Go to his page. Go under the comments. Let him know J Lee Radio sent you and woke you up. And we about to go to Keep It A Cannon, and I'm not finna play with y'all. Everything getting king today. I'm not playing last week. Everything was a key. Like... Some gotta get can. I don't really want to can people, but you know. But before we go to keep it a can, it we gotta go to our sponsor, Mr. Zen Vibes, man. Zen Vibes go so crazy. He just dropped two singles, so he's going bananas right now. He's going crazy, and nobody can stop him. He dropped Sunday Toasted and then Tunnel Vision. So what he's saying is, I know how to party when I party. You know what I'm saying? I could be Sunday Toasted, but then I also could be Tunnel Vision. Stop playing with him, run it, Zen Vibes. Party down south. You just don't know what you're missing. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Zen. I just dropped my very first single, Sunday Toasted. Y'all go stream it, go check it out. Shout out to J Lee Radio for the exclusive. You just don't know what you're missing. Sunday Toasted. Sunday Toasted. Woo! Fire! And then Tunnel Vision go crazy. She got a Oopsie, we on deck. All right, y'all, we going to keep it a cannon. First artist for keep it a cannon. I cannot pronounce your name. Sion Janori? No, that's not right. Of course it's not. I'm sorry. But your song is called Never Sober. You're from San Francisco. Now at ATL, signed a solo mafia enterprise and a song. Here we go. My God. My God. My God. This remind me of like some some old school Jeremiah, so I'm kind of liking it because I like Jeremiah. They not paying me. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Look at in my eyes. You can tell I'm high. Promises I can't keep. I can't so keep. if you coming over, you'll be going fast asleep. I said I'll wreck you like a baby, make you go real crazy. I know we just the friends, but you my shorty, baby. I cannot get with this one like at all. Like I was trying to go to the chorus. I just I can't I personally can't get with this one, so I have to can it. I'm trying to I yeah. That's it. Alright, we're gonna move on. Back in voodoo. Mr. MBK Boo from Illinois. Song is called Quiet. He Independent. Let's go, Quiet. I love them raw wave type beats. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm always quiet cause I never get the love I put out back I'm sick and tired of sticking on my neck and get stabbed in my back I'm always double when it come to me I never get respect when I get on I'm only focused on my baby and my check We post these niggas but y'all pick and choose who the fuck with the most So when I move don't be trying to ask me for why you gon' go So wish the best on y'all my niggas can't never let that shit go I helped some people get up when I was too down bad on the floor Angel on my shoulder telling me I'm reading it too deep Devil in my ear telling me fuck them niggas, they some shit Sometimes I wonder if they help me if they saw I couldn't breathe Reminiscing on the good times just to block out all the bad I'm sharing Okay I'ma I'm a, I'm a give you the key because it's not like It's not a can But let me, let me just tell y'all this And I ain't trying to give away all the game in the world because you know Put yourself on university is coming and, and I'm I'm a I'm a hold my little courses and my classes to really give y'all the game on how to structure a song and make a song fight. But you got too much information in the chorus. Like who's gonna sing your chorus at a show? You think somebody would have to sit up there and rap to you? If everybody was rappers, then they wouldn't be at your show listening to you. They just wanna listen to music and have a good time. They don't wanna have to think about everything that you're saying. That's all. It's a keep though. Will I listen to it again? 
See, I listen to music to critique on the show. I don't want to listen to music to critique in the car. I want to jam out. I want that shit to be repetitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want that transition to hit. Oh, oh, yeah. I want that chorus to be, I know it by the second time I hear it. Yeah, that's what I want as a listener. Here we go. Next artist, Mike Seldom Cambridge. Mike Cambridge. Come on with it. Seldom Cambridge. Godlike. From Brooklyn, independent. Okay, independent label is called B I A S Music. God, I like. What's wrong? I can't read your mind anymore. Even if I could, it's so boring. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like I'ma I'm try to listen through like. so I can find something I like at this point Tell me what's wrong mm. I can't play these games anymore This will be true as it should Listen, listen, scrap that whole first part. What is going on? Take that person out. If that's you, that's not hitting that first part. Everything after that went crazy. And the lyrics wasn't even bad, but the melody and how draggy it was, like most people won't even get to the good part. And that's not a good thing. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the end and can in the beginning. For sure. Okay. Next artist, Nola Nicole from Long Beach, California. The song is called Down For You featuring L-Y-N-O, Leno, Lino, Lino. Nicole, you down for you. Nowadays we don't speak the same language. Nowadays I can't hear when you say shit. You with somebody new, stressing over old shit. And girl, my mental ain't nothing to me play with, no. Accusation after accusation, goddamn girl, how much do I have to prove? And we in too deep. All right, all right. So I'm gonna have to can the song and keep the beat, meaning use that same beat and do something totally different. The um, 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 that was the best part, but that was like. You know, it was cool. It was it was kind of dope. It was like refreshing because I didn't like the verses. And I know y'all probably think I'm being mean this episode, and I'm really not. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to kick it more honest and more honest. And more. I'm always being honest, but I'm really trying to like push everybody to greatness. I'm just telling it like it is. All right, last artist is Sleepy Jr. from Cincinnati. The song is called Vibes, and it better be a vibe. <laughs> for me it's the it's the talk for me it's the talk for me it's the walk for me it's the walk it's the look for me it's the look for me it's just you and me it's just you and me liking what i see you give me energy give me energy it's the vibe for me it's the vibe it's the smile for me it's the smile it's the talk for me it's the talk for me it's the walk for me it's the walk it's the look for me it's the look for me it's just you and me it's just what i'm liking what i see liking what i see you give me energy give me energy it's the vibe for me it's the vibe it's the vibe of me come and ride with me like my privacy like my privacy come and vibe with me we're vibe you know what it's not a bad song but i feel like if you would have went a little crazier on the ad libs it would have really made the song like a lot of songs be made by the ad libs soulja boy do it all the time migos do it all the time it just needs something else it's so basic and then like i think it's for a certain audience i think it's for a certain group of people like and i i've, I've heard some of your other stuff that i really like this one's just not my favorite it's not my favorite. I like the concept. I like what you were saying. Mm, it's about me. <laughs> I'ma still keep it because it's really not a can. But I had so much fun this episode. I just love seeing y'all. Like just see it like wherever you watching me from, I'm watching you too. Get out your nose.
Take your bonnet off. I see you, I see you. Bro, the outro. Pop, pop, shit, yeah, yeah. Hey, I always want to come. Pop, pop, shit, yeah. What? Yeah. See you on pop, pop, shit. Pop, pop.